Welcome, everyone. Is Templar the best solo class in the game right now? Honestly, I play a lot of Stamina Templar, and I've had a lot of success solo with it during the Dragonhold patch, but it's PvP Mayhem right now, and I decided to spec out my Magplar again, and, well, Stamina Templar is great, don't get me wrong, but Magicka Templar takes the cake. Look at the amount of AoE damage we can spit out on the Magfar. I've got a fairly glass cannon build going on, and as you guys can see here, I just keep the pressure up, and I'm just cycling my heals here, going back into the bubble. We're gonna set down the uh, purge as well, so we've got the healing there. Go into our ultimate first, and then right into the jabs, and the jabs is gonna provide us with so much healing power on top of the eclipse bubble as well, and it just allows Magplar to have so much offensive pressure inside of people's faces while still keeping itself very defensively sound, and here you guys see I just keep moving around the, uh, the terrain here, just doing my best to LOS these guys and get behind them and just dropping huge burst on them a great interrupt with the gap close into the jabs and yeah this this is all i can say magplar has got that aoe potential that i feel like this stamplar just uh it can get close but just not quite as good and there you see we managed to wipe all of the yellow on the outside of the keep here now i think i had originally thought that that was all of the uh all of the group that was on this keep here but i go inside i actually get a tick 59k alliance points and uh, I do hear some siege at the front door as well, so I decide to go and check that out. And uh, these poor yellow players on the front door, as soon as we pop out, they just notice us as we notice them. I right away go into my pulse, into the ultimate. I don't have any of the defensive buffs up, but we just take two of them down with that firepower right off the bat. And we're going to go in the jabs on this guy there. A massive crit off the burning light as well, and uh, it's just the last guy left. And the amount of pressure that Magplar can put out just in melee distance, a big a big part of it, I think, is uh, that ultimate. 72 cost on that Crescent Sweep, and it's undodgeable. So much AoE pressure, and it really allows us to just put the hammer on a group of players. Now, another fight that I had going on here, I was outside a, uh, a friendly keep here that is under siege. And there's a bunch of yellow on the inside. I catch this Sork here. We do go for the ultimate, but I think we had killed him already, so a little bit of a waste there. Nonetheless, getting the kill, like I said, the ultimate's very, very cheap, and we almost have it up here already. We jump on top of this Sork here and just start putting the pressure in, and you guys can see just how hard we melt. This guy's doing everything that he can to try to survive the onslaught there, but no, it's just way too much pressure with our AoE and everything. And the beauty of it is this this build is an AoE-focused build. We are not even putting out as much single target pressure as we possibly could on the Templar. But for the sake of world PvP, I definitely think that this is a stronger combination. Doing a little bit of a poke with the enemy group there. Just trying to uh, kite them outside of the uh, entrance there. It is going to flip, and I'm not going to be able to stop them. And I don't want to take a risk jumping in on that spot with so many yellow there. And uh, I go for the gap close there. Manage to get the interrupt on the res. Take the stun there, we're just gonna roll out of that. A huge honor the dead crit. And then back in the mist form here, just kind of hugging the back end of this pillar. And I've got the frost staff on the back bar as well. We get caught with another nasty stun there, but a good roll cancel on our honor the dead. And we managed to come back, go for the great sword heavy, getting a little bit of stamina back there as we had to really push our stamina bar. And that's something I really love about playing the melee magicka variants is that you have excellent control over your resource return because you have both a magicka and a stamina weapon. And uh, as you can see, we're just bouncing these heavy attacks off and the durability of even the build that I'm on, such a squishy build, because we have all that healing power down, this guy was unable to prevent us from just getting our Magicka back. We managed to bring him down as some more yellow converge on this location. We've got a friendly red player that's coming in here too. Uh, we jump on top of this guy, throw the ultimate down. We're going to put the jabs into this guy too. He does a great job tanking it out. He's got friendly players throwing the heals down too. So I just retreat back into the little cubby here. And man, this is this is a great example where I think on the Stamplar, there's no way I would be able to sit and hold my ground in this kind of a fight. But on the uh, on the Magplar, man, they just have this capability to just keep on healing away. That Eclipse Bubble, I think, makes all the difference in the world. We have a lot of opponents on you, and look at this. We're able to continue the pressure on the, on the Sork there and bring him down with the other player attacking us because we've got the Eclipse, the Jab Healing combo. And yeah, we can just maintain that offense. Another big explosion on this guy here. We've got the Pulse going down. The Grothdar has procced as well, but he does a great job blocking out that damage. We quickly switch the targets there, picking up a nice kill with the friendly uh, player here, and we're just going to get a big heal there after taking that stun 
And I just kite back behind the uh, the tower here, just trying to get a bit of Magicka with those heavy attacks off. And uh, the enemy yellow player is kind of retreating back to their siege here. It looks like the friendly red player has also done a good job just kind of holding his ground. They're starting to converge on him here. I set down the AoE Pulse. We're going to jump on top of them, take a really weird stun. And I think that was caused by the DK leaping us as we gap closed into that other player. And it unfortunately botches our whole combo. I try to stick out on the lower HP player there, but unfortunately I can't. And uh, we just come back behind the edge here. We catch this guy by himself. Our friendly player is retreating into the other side. So I decide, okay, let's try to get the kill on this guy while we have the opportunity. Um, almost getting him with the stun there, just missing the partial charge greatsword heavy. And we land it the second time there into our ultimate. I'm unable to stick the kill there as uh, a bunch of yellow players quickly converge with their firepower on us. And I don't have the defensive buffs up. So we're just going to reset the Eclipse, come back in here. And in this kind of a situation, as long as we can keep the jabs out and the Eclipse down, we can have some pretty good tank with some Magicka up against these guys. Here you see we try to catch this guy with lower HP there. I go for the ultimate, but he manages to sidestep it just there. But coming around the corner, we poke him with the jabs as he tries to roll away. And I'm just going to keep on working this little spot here. Um, the yellow player is really converging on top of me here. But as you can see, the healing power on this build is pretty impressive. We're taking quite a bit of abuse, but I've got to give it to the Eclipse heal there. It's really coming in clutch. Eventually, though, this is too much pressure, and we're unable to deal with it. But yeah, nonetheless, a nice run for the Plar, and I've got another fight for you guys here. Um, something in the sewers. And I wanted to show you guys, again, the amount of abuse that a damage build like this can take. It just makes Templar so good for solo PvP. And uh, the only thing we're really missing on the Plar, in my opinion, is the movement speed. And being a Wood Elf with Mistform, that really helps alleviate the biggest issue that we have on the Plar. And here you can see, while we're taking a lot of pressure from behind, we're able to use Mistform to continue to reposition this group. They've got the Plars jumping on top of us as well. And we're going to use the corners there, go into our ultimate, and jab these guys away. And we actually get a good combo in there. We bring one of the blue players down, but there's too much pressure from those guys. So we're just going to come back around the corner, reset our Eclipse. Very low on resource here. Take the stun from that Templar. We're going to quickly hit that Honor the Dead and then right back into our Mist Form. Now, the combo of Honor the Dead and Mist Form, again, is just so strong. It's like Vampirism was made for Magicka Templar because we get a return that 60% of the cost while we're in our Mist Form as well. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep moving around here. Keep trying to split these guys up. And uh, I did peek out the other side there, and I peeked behind me here. And you can see there is no real safe spot here. There's just blue players kind of everywhere. So I'm going to do my best against these guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I create regular ESO content, so be sure to stick around for more. If you guys want to see some live stuff, you can always check me out on Twitch. Give me a follow on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with my shenanigans. If you guys want to send in any clips for the top five or send in a build to be featured on the channel, you can send that to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. Be sure to check out my website, ChristopherESO.com, for fully written guides to my builds, as well as a hub for all of my ESO content. We are sponsored by What The Fast. They're a VPN for gamers. They give me better ping to my favorite games, and they're free to try for the first 30 days. No credit card to sign up via the link in the description below. And finally, if you guys really love the show and you want to help support it, you can always become a patron on Patreon. A big thank you to everyone who has chosen to help support the stream. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, uh, yeah, I really mean it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, everybody, just for tuning in. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Have a great night, everyone.